Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's another Friday on FIFA 21, and that means another promo. Road to the final. Team number one is going away, and that means probably team number two is coming in. Now, technically, we don't have a loading screen. Nothing else has happened yet. Like, we're not... The only really thing that we're seeing that is kind of guaranteeing us a team two is what we usually have gone off of in the past couple weeks that there's a team one coming and then a team two. So the fact that we didn't have a loading screen today was kind of interesting, but I think we're going to see a team two today. I think we are going to see a lot of that content and uh, that should be coming out, right? Because that seems to be the way that EA is doing promos this year is team one and then team two. I'd be shocked if they didn't do a team two today. And especially because when they label things as team one, it just makes sense that a team two would come out. And this is their tweet from last week, of course, with the squad from team one. Now let's talk about what kind of cards can be in packs today. I honestly think that team two does have potential to possibly be better than team one. And here's why. If we take a look at this entire squad, and I'm actually going to go to footbin so that you can see the entire squad without my face being in the way. But one thing we noticed last week was not all of the like major teams that are in the Champions League are represented in the squad. There's no Manchester City cards and packs, no Real Madrid cards and packs, and no PSG items and packs as well, and no Dortmund, right? So I would go and venture to imagine that today's squad would have a member from each of those four teams because EA knows that that can sell packs. I know we've already had Chelsea as well. There's no Chelsea player in this team. So with all of those five teams right there, with no player actually in packs, I think there's potential to get a pretty solid squad today. Now, of course, it always depends on the player selection, but Team 2 today could be pretty interesting in my opinion with that coming out. I haven't heard any leaks about it. Some people were saying Sterling. Some people were saying, oh, Juventus isn't in, the, isn't in this team as well. Some people were saying Delict, Sterling, Ramos. Some people were saying Ferlin Mendy. So it could be a really big team today. So we don't have any loading screen or any reason for panic. And that's kind of the first thing I want to talk about today as well. Are we going to see panic this morning on the game? Now, there's a couple things that could impact that. First things first, today is the possible and supposed release date of the player of the month for the Premier League, which is supposedly going to be Hyun Min Sun or Harry Kane. One of those two players, I guess it could be Kyle Walker as well, but I think it's most likely going to be Sun or Kane. I'm really hoping for Sun. If it's a Sun SBC, if they give him 90 pace, if they do him a decent upgrade from an 87 to an 88, maybe they give him an 89. I would get very interested in that card really fast. Now, what would I expect this card's price to be today? His gold card's about a 130,000 coin card. A lot of people are investing in this right now. A lot of people are buying Premier League informs. People are buying Premier League um, higher rated cards, right? That's the kind of stuff you would probably need for that SBC. I don't think you would need Sun's gold card itself to complete the player of the month or Kane's gold card itself. So just be careful with SBC fodder today. Player of the month are very rarely insane value. Most of the time when a player of the month card is insane value and everybody does it, it's like an 83 or an 84 rated squad for a really good player, right? Now, a Sun card, this SBC today is probably gonna be around the range of like 500,000 coins, in my opinion. If it's any less than 400K, that's pretty good value, I would think, especially if you're getting some tradable packs back from the SBCs and you're getting the Sun card, uh, then I would say it's a decent value. If it's about 400,000 coins or so for that. And if it's more than that, if it's like six, 700,000 coins, I don't think I would get involved with it at all. Even as a Spurs fan, I would have to think twice. So just be careful with that kind of stuff today. If you did invest in SBC fodder, I don't really feel like stuff is going to go to the moon today because a lot of people have invested in it. And that scares me a little bit just because uh, of the over-investing. We're going to talk about over-investing in some other areas with Road to the Final Cards as well. Um, but that's kind of the main thing that I could imagine impacting panic selling this morning. If that SBC comes out, it's a really good card and it's a cheap SBC. I could see some panic selling happening on the market. Now, some other, I think... Um, there are some SBCs expiring today. I think the Mason Mount, of, yes, that does expire. We still have Atal. We still have Isco that is out. Um, some people were, were thinking about that today could be the League One Player of the Month as well. We still have nine days left on the Niane SBC. And the voting, I believe, is still open for League One 
uh, Player of the Month. I think Bundesliga Player of the Month is about done with voting. We'll probably see that SBC next week. But a lot of people have invested in SBC fodder. So just be careful with that market today. I just don't feel like EA would have to put out a massive SBC or something huge for a lot of that stuff to go up. So if you invested and it's already up, consider taking the coins on selling into the hype on some of those things. But again, what we're looking for with Panic, like we saw last Friday morning was we saw out of packs special cards. We're talking informs. We are talking um, rule breaker cards. There were a lot of cards that were panic sold in the morning because people had saved up packs and they were awaiting the new road to the final promo. Now, of course, we're awaiting set two of this promo this week. There's already cards in packs still, so nobody's really saving uh, packs up and, and waiting to open up packs for this new squad. There's not a lot of that. We're, j we're basically just kind of waiting for the new squad. And since we don't even have a loading screen at the moment, a lot of stuff on the market has gone up that is out of pack special cards. A lot of the stuff has gone up. Gold cards didn't do so well, and they continue to kind of just be very meh on the market. A lot of gold cards just continue to be very meh in terms of trading with them. Uh, in terms of their price fluctuations, they're not moving as much just because of now they're getting a lot of a lot of supply. But watch Rule Breakers, watch Team of the Week cards this morning. If there is a bunch of panic selling for whatever reason, um, make sure obviously that it's not like a leaked SBC. It's going to be a repeatable SBC that would like crash the market. But I wouldn't expect that at all. But if you do see panic selling this morning on some out of packs special cards, whether that be in past Team of the Weeks, uh, you could look at some ones to watch cards as well. I know we're on international break this weekend. So look at some of the international matchups. Uh, just pick out some meta cards, right? That maybe you're going to be dropping if you find prices dropping, especially on some of the rule breakers because they're pretty rare items. Uh, like Llorente was 288. Now he's down to 270. Um, or maybe a guy like Nine Golan who's getting kind of hyped up right now. And Mertens who's up like 100K. Both those guys are up a bunch. If you see a bit of a drop off today, in the morning that could be a potential for where you buy a card like that and sell it for more when the market goes up after the new cards are released in packs now i want to talk about the road to the final cards that are going out of packs the champions league ones and then mention these cards that will be in packs and team of the week seven that will be in packs today on friday so what i would expect to happen with these is yes these cards got low these guys hit their lowest point today because of this sbc that came out because of rewards number one and number two because of this ucl it's like a ucl league sbc is really what it is and it's a very very expensive sbc it is not worth it at all i don't know if you guys saw this today or if you were watching this and what it did to the market i'm getting kicked off the servers for whatever reason it's not letting me connect but this is the SBC that came out today, the UCL, the Uf, UEFA Champions League, League SBC. So you get an untradable 50k pack in the end, there's some tradable packs in the middle, but the UCL rare cards right now are inflated on the market. I would cash those out because they're going to be going down with more pack supply today. But this SBC costs you like almost 200,000 coins to do or something crazy like that. And that's sucking a lot of coins off the game. People are addicted to these SBCs. And if they are just doing them from scratch, which a lot of times they do just for the packs, they're not making their coins back on these packs. They're really, really not. A lot of these are untradeable. And especially the 50K pack at the end is untradeable. This is taking a lot of the coins off the market. And hence why you saw some of gold cards get panic sold today and why you only saw some of the really meta cards rise up even further just because... People went out and bought those or people still had coins to buy those for the weekend league teams, whereas other people had to sell some gold cards or sell some investments to go do that SBC. So just be careful with that SBC. Not a huge fan of that one. And I think that kind of messed the market up a little bit today. If you want to invest in some road to the finals, this is what I have to say about some of these. They finally added the card type, which is a W. But... Um, the only thing I have to say about these is, yes, they're out of packs. Are they as rare as last year? I don't know. Are they as hyped as last year? I don't know about that either. Klosterman is somebody who I'm sort of interested in just because we have so many Leipzig links. It's actually crazy. Um, Zakaria is interesting. Muriel is interesting. This guy right here, a lot of people I've invested in. This guy is going to be, this is, this is like the biggest overinvestment from a mile away. Sandstone is like 36, 37,000 coins at the moment right now. Yes, of course, he links to Atal, but this guy was 30, 
3,000 coins earlier this week. He went to 49 on Wednesday, got invested in, and is now back down. But a lot of people have bought this card. Could it go to the mid-40s next week? Yes, it possibly could. But I'm just saying, this card, to me, I remember, I remember investing in his... Um, I forget what card it was. He had a special card last year that was a, a headliner, saying so on last year. And I bought his card and he never moved in price at all. Now I know this is different because it's not his inform that would upgrade his card. It's a road to the final. But if you're wanting to buy any of these, I would say just watch the prices this morning. Griezmann, Rashford, Davies, Klosterman, Salah would be the ones that I would expect to go up out of packs the most. And Oblak as well. This could be a sneaky under the radar buy in my opinion. If you get him in like the low 130s and 120s. He was at 130 flat today. He's 134 right now. Links, of course, to the Jimenez card. Uh, so just keep an eye on somebody like this. But the way I'm feeling with these Road to the Finals is if Team 2 is more hyped, people might want to try out cards from Team 2 if they're cheap enough first day, which they're not going to be cheap. They're going to be very expensive. Um, but I just feel like there's a possibility that since Champions League is still a far ways away and since the market this year is so controlled by people that are trying to buy cards and invest to make coins, that artificially inflates player prices all the time on this game. I feel like there's a small chance that some of these Road to the Finals could still drop further in the next week or so, especially with Black Friday on the horizon, possibly with Icon SBCs coming in the next two to three weeks with that Black Friday time frame as well. But Champions League is next played on November 24th, which is the week, the days leading up to the Black Friday promo and Thanksgiving and all that kind of stuff. So... That's going to be something very close to watch with these. Um, I would expect maybe sun, Saturday, Sunday night with weekend league sell-off. It might be another entry point for some of these road to the final cards, especially if team two is hyped today. The team one cards could maybe fizzle off a little bit. So that's going to be something I keep my eyes on very carefully. And then again, just, just to like make some coins, right? On a normal promo Friday, things that we see uh happen for content wise i would expect another player sbc today an objective i guess we could see an objective but we only have seven days left you look at the top right here you can barely see it there's seven days left in the season that means that next week is going to be a big week some people are thinking next week could be icon swaps yes and icon swaps or icon sbcs with the new season that'd be a perfect time for ea to release icon swaps in the game and that could start a whole new level of content and stuff that's going on with fifa so that could be something very interesting but kunde is out for another seven days i might expect another objective maybe a, a um europa league card tomorrow now the europa league cards are in packs still right and that's why i mentioned if you're looking at these cards today these are probably going to be treated like a team of the week item these guys could bounce around and be actually tradable and investable today as well. Kind of like icons, right? Pack supply comes. Cards get listed on the market. Some people panic sell, right? I would expect these guys' prices to probably drop a little bit into the content drop. Same with some of these Europa League cards. And then what's going to happen is they'll get hit with supply. And then the meta ones will bounce back. Look at this Renato Sanchez, right? I would keep a very close eye on this card tomorrow. Look what happened with him today at rewards. Started the day at 750,000 coins. 600k in the, on the xbox dropped all the way down to 505 and 539 and is now back up to 580 590 so big rebounds on a card like this it's all about timing it right and especially with pack supply coming today and people knowing that these cards are still in packs they're going to be selling them up until 6 p.m because they know there's possibility for these guys to get panic sold. I like Ndidi. I really like Ndidi a lot. He's a very budget center defensive mid that is very good in this game. And there's not a lot of CDMs that are special cards yet for the Prem. And that's a position that a lot of people are running Prem teams uh, would like to upgrade to, right? Let's say instead of using Wijnaldum, you want to use Conte, but you don't have 300, 400,000 coins for Conte. I kind of like this card. I think he's going to drop a little bit more hopefully into like the maybe even lower 200s range by the time we're in like weekly sell-off mode on Sunday night and stuff like that. So I'm kind of keeping an eye on this card. And if he gets a dynamic image, that would be even better. Uh, so just watch the Europa League Road to the Finals. Icons today will be great. Watch the panic selling in the morning. I do think you'll see our normal, normal Friday market rise uh, in the afternoon after the packs are opened after people get their SPC content, their fill. There could be pack supply SPC today. Uh, and there's just a lot of variables today. Could be a pretty fun day on the market in all honesty. 
could be a pretty interesting day with what happens. So Icon 59th minute with the basic chem style is always great on Fridays because you get to that 59th minute really fast and you try to find icons that people had just packed and they're listing up for a price that is just, um, it's just way too cheap, right? This is a filter that I love doing, especially later in the year during when there's lightning rounds. Icons, yes, they come on the market when there's just promo packs, but lightning rounds just do something different to these icons in the 59th minute. So that's a possible trading method today. Uh, and yeah, boys, it's just, it's going to be an interesting day. Since we don't have a lot of info on what's actually coming today, I would expect just more cards and packs, probably another objective, probably another SPC player. Maybe we'll see the first ever like uh, Champions League SBC car design used today as well. We haven't seen that one used yet. Um, but again, with this whole, with gold cards and everything that's going on with the market, with a lot of these players being kind of, you know, down a little bit in price today, keep an eye on some of these gold items. Werner's down a bit. Martial is down. Um, Wijnaldum's the same. Sun is down a bit. You know, um, Pogba's down a bit. Yetter is down a lot. Debele is down a decent amount. Just keep an eye on some of these gold cards, even though they're higher rated. Just keep a close eye on them because I feel like after this weekend, even more so, they're going to continue to drop off. And as you look at a lot of these cards graphs, it's really starting to look like we're entering the Black Friday phase, right? Boom, 137. He was 100K all week, and he's down even more into the day today. So I would just be careful with gold cards. And if you want to take the safe route, again, as we mentioned yesterday, selling your team probably around the Friday night to Saturday morning time frame might be the best just to keep it safe and to not have to worry about the next week or so as we head into a new season in foot um, with possibly icon swaps, Black Friday, a lot of stuff going on. So SBC fodder today could drop a little bit more. I don't think SBC fodder is really going to go up today. I hate to say it. I know a lot of you guys have invested in it. So if you've invested and you've done a club stock, which I have recommended, just keep holding, right? We're just holding that SBC fodder till a point where it does go up, right? It's kind of like a no risk hold investment because at some point it's going to go up. It's just a matter of when is that going to be? And especially with Icon SBCs, maybe an Icon upgrade on the horizon in the next couple of weeks, a lot of player of the months, the potential is there for that stuff to start rising. So we'll see what happens today with player of the month. We'll see what happens with the new cards and packs, new content, new SBCs, and just how much panic selling we have. It'll be a fun Friday, boys. If you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe to the channel for new. It's been Nathan Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.